Welcome back to Wave 3 Listens. Congratulations are in order for my friend Matt Roundtree. Not only for the work he does for the American Heart Association, but he tied the knot. Matt got married. A you, month you, ago, yes. Um, a month ago today. Congratulations Thank to you. you. And Thank you still you. look happy. It's been a month. Very happy. It's been great. <laughs> I've married a great woman. Uh, there's some photos right there. Uh, her name's Katie, and uh, she's just a wonderful wife. And we're, uh, we got married down in Charleston uh, about a month ago. So uh, it's, it's been great so far, and I uh, uh, had a great photographer to capture the, the, the moment Whoa. as well. Very pretty. Nice, nice venue. Yeah, nice location beautiful. there. That's beautiful. All right, congratulations you. to you, Matt. All right, uh, many, many years together, too. I hope you guys stay Thank you. very, very happy. I, I can tell you, you're thrilled. Oh, I am. She's a wonderful <laughs> woman. Oh, congratulations. Okay, let's talk about the American Heart Association and their mission, which is to help you and your family stay heart healthy. And today we're talking about heart healthy lunches. That's right. Okay, so it, you know what I love about this is, you, is you're smart enough to know. Yeah, it's not easy, and you've got to be a little bit creative to keep kids interested in eating nutritious food. That's right. You know, going back to school here in a couple of weeks, and some schools have already started back, you know, a lot of things uh, we try to do is to, to educate people on eating healthy while it being fun at the same time. It's not just about uh, water and apples only. There's ways that you can have a little <laughs> bit of fun with it, and that's what we want to do to keep kids interested. All right. So parents, uh, mom, dad, watch closely. We're going to see a little bit of magic here, courtesy of Matt Roundtree. Okay, Matt. First of all, these are basics, and these are foods that are, that are heart healthy, Right. And you can, as you said, have a little fun with. Mix it up a little bit. Show us what we're talking That's about. That's right. You know, starting off, just su uh, simple substitutions to make a healthier sandwich. You know, we're going to start off with some of our wheat bread here. And, you know, one of the things that's usually really healthy for us is to try to go with some of the leaner meats. Um, here I have uh, some chicken, and I also have some roast beef. And either one of these, you know, it's like just being able to start out with a lean beef or a lean meat um, is going to be something that's really healthy for you. So we're going to add that onto our sandwich here. Um, one of the things that's a lot of fun is getting kids involved. So one of the things that we like to do is encourage uh, something simple like uh, getting uh, your favorite cheese and actually uh, just cutting shapes into it. So, you know, we've got our cookie cutters, you know, that you see here and just letting the kids, again, get involved. It might be a little messy in the kitchen, but again, it's going to get them more highly engaged in order to uh, actually encourage, uh, you know, a little bit of fun you know, whenever they're making their, their sandwich. Um, another thing is, too, is a lot of people like lettuce on their sandwich. Kids sometimes like mm -hmm. that. Um, we actually recommend, um, whenever we're building a sandwich, we actually re recommend shredded carrots instead. It gives you that same crunch, but it's actually a high nutrition value. Yeah, from what I understand, if, if a vegetable has a lot of color, right. usually more high nutrition, and with that bright orange, does it's, the trick, right? It's actually going to be really good for you. So just let kids build their own sandwich, put, put as much on there as well. It actually tastes very similar to lettuce um, when you put it on a sandwich, and it's actually much better for you. So that's what we kind of recommend in order to build a smarter sandwich. All right, that makes perfect sense. Let's talk about drink options a little bit. Of course, uh, this time of year, hydrate, hydrate, water, right. water, water. Absolutely. But what are your recommendations? How do we get creative with fluids? Well, that's a great question. You know, a lot of a lot of parents will give like a dollar or two dollars and say, you know, go get a sports drink or go get a soft drink at school. Um, we don't recommend that because it has so much sugar in it. Instead, um, in order to uh, uh, recommend something fun and healthy, we recommend packing just a regular bottle of water. And you can usually get these little single packets, um, you know, at the grocery store. You can usually get a, a, a half a dozen of them for about a dollar, so they're really cheap and they're a lot of fun. So, you know, what we recommend is just giving them some of these. I uh, actually keep some of these at our house, and it lets them have a little bit of fun. You just put it in there, shake it up, and they're not necessarily diet drinks. You know, a lot of people think, oh, well, it's diet. My child's not going to drink that. No, this one actually here is strawberry, and this one's grape, and there's 10 calories in both of those. So you can see that we can have a lot of fun in drinking and at the same time staying hydrated, but um, staying away from the sugar. Fun. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's important. Okay, uh, munchies. This is a tough one here. So, are, are these these actually heart healthy? Yes, actually. You know, they're healthier mm -hmm. options. You know, it's not necessarily everything's not necessarily heart healthy, but they're healthier options. You know, when we're talking about um, chips, I don't know if you're a salty guy, but I'm a salty guy. I love uh, yeah. salty foods. And um, when we choose saltier options like baked chips or pretzels, you're actually cutting down the amount of fat in your child's diet by as much as 50 percent. And that's really important because nowadays uh, kids are expected to have a shorter life expectancy because of a poor nutritious diet, which is why we're here today, and lack of physical activity. So they're not going to live as long as their parents if we continue this route. So what we're trying to do is educate individuals on eating healthier options of some of their favorite foods and cutting down on those portions. As well. All right. And of course, hey, you know, fruits, veggies, all great. No question about it. 
can't run from that. Right. And I, and I love the taste of grapes. Right. This time of year, you get some good ones. Too. You know, it's you know, fruit is really good. You know, we, we recommend uh, that kids can have as much fruit as they want. Um, but the main thing is is making sure that you have fun with it. You know, so again, we recommend allowing parents to go back into the kitchen and create their own dips. You know, a lot of kid, parents will sometimes uh, you know put uh, snack snack cakes and things like that in it that have a very high uh, sugar content for their foods uh, as kind of as a dessert. We recommend either grapes or we recommend apple slices, which both parents like, or both kids like um, in most cases. And then on top of that, create your own dips. You and said let is, them dunk. This is the fun part, <laughs> let them dunk. You know, we have two options here. You know, you have peanut butter and you have low-fat yogurt. And both of these are fun options, but what makes them even fun is a little bit of sprinkle. So, you know, just let them go in and make their own and then create little fun things as well to do and and just that in of itself is going to make a healthier option that kids are actually going to have fun with. all right this all makes sense i appreciate the creativity now you've got a heart walk coming up we here, do right? kentucky we do. and a heart walk let's talk a little bit about that well, you know, the Heart Walk is on Saturday, September 17th. It's at Waterfront Park. Uh, we encourage everybody to come down. We're expecting more than 10,000 people to come. Um, the, the great thing about this event is, is that when you come down and you support the mission through donations or through the walk itself, you're actually funding research and education efforts right here in Kentuckiana. In fact, we have $1.5 million in active research grants right here in the Louisville area. And so you are giving back to this community. You're doing a lot of great things, and we really would uh, appreciate your support. Now, for those who want more information about the American Heart Association, Matt, where would they go? That website right there? They can go to heart.org or to the HeartWalk website itself is heart.org slash Kentucky on a HeartWalk. We are registering individuals right now and informing teams. We're about six weeks away. And we encourage uh, you guys to do that because, it, again, it supports not just our mission but the local community as well. Now, I'm curious on this uh, this Kentucky on a HeartWalk here now. Will your, will your wife and you now walk together? Does oh, she, we does are she definitely participate with you? Yeah, actually, she'll be there. She'll be volunteering as well, so it'll be really great. Um, it's, a, it's a great event. I don't know if you've been there or not. We're actually changing some of the uh, uh, programs program events up. We're going to actually have a band there this year, and we're going to, which we're going to be announcing very soon. And we also have um, a lot of other fun activities. And of course, Shannon Cogan from Wave is going to be there uh, emceeing the event, and her family, you know, which uh, you know, she actually has a son with a CHD, who's a CHD survivor. So uh, he's going to be there, and the family's going to be there. So it'll be really great. Perfect, perfect. Love hearing that. All right, thank you so much, and again, thank congratulations you. to you. Thank you very much. All right, coming up.